On an earlier slide, it was noted that turbulent flows are unpredictable in detail, meaning that there's a randomly fluctuating component that's superimposed on the regular flow behavior. What this means is that if we were to take a snapshot of an instantaneous turbulent flow field, for instance as we see in the upper image here, then you can clearly see the effects of these random fluctuations. As engineers, most of the time we don't really need to know all of this level of detail of the fluctuations. For most problems, what we need to know is the regular flow behavior, or in other words, the time averaged flow behavior, which we see here in the contours in the lower image, along with the intensity of the turbulent fluctuations. And this gives us all the information that we really need to know in many cases for engineering purposes. Because of this fact, this provides a useful way to approach the modeling of turbulence. As was just mentioned, often for engineering purposes, we're mainly interested in the time average value of the flow variables. So what this means is if we record the velocity at a particular point in a turbulent flow, the instantaneous velocity might look something like the brown curve that we see here. We can take the instantaneous velocity and then decompose it into a mean part or a time average part, which is indicated by the green curve, and a fluctuating component, which just by definition is the difference between the instantaneous velocity and the time average value. And so this means that we can write the velocity at any point in time that the instantaneous velocity is equal to the mean velocity plus the fluctuating velocity. By definition, if we take the time average of the fluctuating velocity, then that's going to be equal to zero. But it's important to note that the root mean squared value of the fluctuations, in other words, the time average of the square of the fluctuations, is not equal to zero. And so this is important because it's the squares of the fluctuations which produce the turbulent kinetic energy. The velocity decomposition that we see here is the foundation of the most widely used turbulence models in CFD.